How did Alistair McKenzie get involved in designing a public golf course in San Francisco? This is Golf Smarter. McKenzie, you know, was all over the world. And, yeah. you know, he's buried in Santa Cruz, about 70 miles south of uh, San Francisco. It's where he made his final home. Uh, and it became his, of course, his final resting place right near Pasatiempo, Pasatiempo one of the great courses right. he designed. But San Francisco uh, has been blessed throughout its history with unbelievably creative leadership. And in the 1920s, of course, the city had built Harding Park, which people today know is going to be the site of the PGA Championship in 2020. President's Cup's coming back in 2025, and it's it had a long and storied history. Harding, when it opened in 1925, was perhaps the greatest municipal golf course built by human hands in the world. St. Andrews will give the sheep credit for that, maybe with some rabbits and some wind, but Harding was built by people and it was quickly overrun. The city knew they needed another golf course. And so John McLaren, who was then the head of our Recreation Park Department, the man who created Golden Gate Park out of sand dunes, he turned to a fellow Scotsman named Alistair McKenzie. He knew him, he knew of his work, he knew of his reputation, and McKenzie was still working on the Cypress Point job when McLaren approached him about doing something at this piece of land that had been donated to the city in Pacifica. And listen to this, McKenzie agrees to design the golf course for free provided that if the city ends up building it, carrying his plan into reality, they will hire him and his firm to do the construction work. And that's exactly what happened. He wow. designed the golf course and the design was done, finished maybe in 28, 29. And then by 1930, the city hired McKenzie and Robert Hunter Jr. and Chandler Egan to build what was then and is now one of the greatest municipal golf courses in all the world. Click on the link below to subscribe to our free weekly interviews on the Golf Smarter podcast at golfsmarter.com.